once again the veils are thinning and it's time for me to purge all of my past sins. I look at the other side and I see divine intervention. Divine intervention that I've abandoned and failed time and time again. Failed to lead them to greatness. But now I can purge that memory. I can finally be rid of that damnation. And I see Mikey O'Shea and time and time again, I've let Mikey O'Shea down. I've tried to beat him again and again and been unsuccessful. But this time, this year, this is the year that you and I are finally rid of the Irish juggernaut. And he has new little friend now, Vito Fratelli. Crawled out of obscurity, Vito get involved in my business in OCCW and made quite a name for yourself. But finally, I can be rid of that hitman as well. And I look at my own side and I see Alexander Vega, who I've fought time and time again. I'm sure he doesn't build me any ill will. I've only beaten La Raza three or four times. I'm sure that sits well with him. And I see the new star shining across the horizon. I see the million dollar body on Jack Cartwheel and realize that all my parts put together probably aren't worth 150 bucks, Jack. That doesn't bother me at all, Jackie. I was gonna, I'm looking forward to having such a fine young athlete on my side of things. And I look at the champion, look at Gustin Uberstood, it's great to be on the same side as the champ. Never bothered me even once that you've been the champion now for so long, Gustin. I remember when I fought Othello and I had him pinned, not once, but twice. And I hit him with everything I had. And I just, it was just great that the, the guy with the yummy yummy rolled him up for the one, two, three and became champion. That, that's just, that's just fantastic. So I'm looking forward to the purge for everybody on my side. And you can trust me. You can put your faith in me, boys. I won't let you down.